Hi, hi, this is Stephen. Um, so I'm just bringing these uh, really wonderful short tarot readings. Um, uh, and um, just to, to really just help people. So um, this particular tarot reading um, isn't really for anybody in particular. Uh, it gives, gives you a sample of just kind of how the tarot readings work. Um, so I'm just shuffling the cards here. This is a, this will be a three cards tarot reading. Now, um, this reading is just, um, just a globally, just a global reading um, for, for this moment. Um, this is Wednesday, the, this is Tuesday the 29th. Um, of October and it's a three card reading so I'm just going to pick three cards uh, so I picked the first card that goes out there in the future the next card just goes there in the middle and the first card just to the start so the first card the six of cups um, is just really highlighting over the last couple of weeks where People have been reminiscing a lot, thinking about the past, thinking about their inner child. Um, you're really just, um, yeah, just thinking about past issues in a nice way, reminiscing, thinking about the good memories. Okay, hi, this is Stephen. Um, just continuing on. Um, from that previous reading. So, so the past is very much the Six of Cups uh, rem representing, you know, the call of the inner child, the inner child talking to us. The funniest thing about the Six of Cups is that the inner child is almost like a neglected voice. Um, and so the inner child talks to us often, but we might forget, uh, we might misinterpret or misunderstand what the ch inner child is tr starting to, or trying to say to us. Um, because it's very much trying to remind us of something of our past or of the old self and how that was useful. The present card, the Six of Coins, so uh, there's something up in the air about finances, um, about inheritance, mm -hmm. about uh, money, uh, finance, inheritance, um, material support, and well-being coming to us, perhaps from family members, from a larger unit. Um, See, so it's a very much. It's highlighting very much. There's, there's a lot of material talk, perhaps up in the air uh, this week. Uh, it looks good. Um, however, uh, it's not concrete. That's. It looks good. It looks like a nice, good idea. It looks. Um, it looks good, but it's not concrete yet. Uh, the card following us, the death card, so over the next couple of weeks, definitely there's big changes coming up because uh, the death card is the major, a major trump card in the tarot. Uh, so it's representing the it's big changes coming up over the next few weeks. Um, and I always, when I get the death card, I always like to remind, remind us that it's the end of something old. So it's the end of an old thought or behaviour or something. But more than that, it's it's followed by something new. So I always like to put a new card down. The Knight of Cups. Um, so following on from this, perhaps there's a period of, you know, being a bit more emotional, a bit more romantic, a bit more loving towards each other. Um, I don't know, perhaps even there's somebody who, an actual p person, more likely to be male, uh, a young male, who is born under a, a water sign like Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces, uh, who takes centre light over the next few weeks, who, who really means a lot globally. Uh, there could be things like actors as well, particular actor, um, just coming to the surface. Um, but that's the cards interpretations, what they're pushing forward for the next couple of weeks. I remember if you would like to get a small reading, um, reading like this, just get in touch if you've got particular questions or you would like particular readings for um, capturing larger parts or specific parts of your life. And also for hypnotherapy, guided meditations or life coaching, uh, do get in touch. Thanks for your time.